What's up YouTube, Robbie Vapes back again. And today we're gonna to determine which of these is the best mouth to lunger for 2018. So stay tuned. That is right YouTube, today we're gonna to talk about the best mouth to lunger of 2018. And the showdown today is between the Joytech Ego AO Eco and the Aspire Breeze version one. Now I do want to mention there is a version two that is coming out, which or may actually already be out by the time you see this video. Uh, unfortunately, at the time of recording, I did not get the chance to get my hands on that. So a follow-up video will most likely be coming to see if it's changed and how it compares to these two individuals. But with that in mind, I do want to mention that both these devices were actually bought by me with my own money in my own wallet. These were not sent to me for review. These were bought by me. So if that matters to people out there, just want to let them know, uh, this actually came from my wallet and my money to present this review to you guys. So with that in mind, let's get things started with the battery size. On um, both these devices, they both pack a 650 milliamp hour battery. Uh, however, the Breeze does have the option of a charging dock, which you can get separately. Now, the one thing I will mention is that with the charging dock, you cannot actually use pass-through charging, meaning it cannot be on the dock and vaping at the same time. However, both of these do support pass-through charging with a cable charger. So if you are charging it with a cable, they will both supply pass-through pass charging slash vaping while it's charging kind of thing. Uh, moving on, let's talk about the juice capacity. Juice capacity on the Ego AO Eco is 1.2 milliliters. And on the Aspire Breeze, at least the version one, it is two milliliters. So the Aspire Breeze does pack a little bit more juice in there, but the one thing to keep in mind is the wattage on both these or how much vapor or how quickly they go through juice. Just because this stores more doesn't mean it lasts longer. And I think that is the perfect segue to move on to the wattage on both these, the set wattage and the coils themselves. So we're gonna talk about the set wattage first in the Ego AO Eco. It is a 6.8 watt uh, standard fire rate, I guess I should say. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, with the Aspire Breeze, I could not find the actual voltage output or the wattage output on these coils. So I'm going to go off of what I could find. This could be wrong. So just a little bit of, uh, of a warning here. I don't know if this is accurate, but it does mention that it has a 4.2 volt uh, battery if it's actually outputting the full 4.2 volts or if it's actually been regulated in some way to restrict the voltage to let's say 3.7 or 3.6 or whatever it might be these numbers are going to change. However, at 4.2 volts, the 0.6 ohm coil in the Aspire Breeze sets off around 29 watts. The 1.2 ohm coil in the Aspire Breeze sets off right around 14.8. Uh, based on Ohm's law, again, that's going to decrease as the battery decreases, the voltage is going to drop, the battery is going to drop. Not necessarily saying you're going to get that wattage out, but on paper, just by the wattage that if that is correct, you would assume this is going to chuck way more clouds. However, the one thing to keep in mind is this is not a, chow, a cloud chucking contest. This is a review of the best mouth to lunger. And the best mouth to lunger does not necessarily produce the most vapor. I think if you're looking for the most vapor, you should look elsewhere from outside of these mods because both of these are not made for cloud chucking. They are made for a way to quit smoking and potentially use higher milligram nicotine strengths in these devices. For both these devices, I do have 12 milligram free base nicotine in here. And the reason for that is because I'm actually somewhat against salt mix, but I'll talk about that in my next video. Uh, outside of that, they both hit pretty well. I will take a quick hit off both of them to show you what it looks like, starting with the Aspire Breeze. Surprisingly, not a lot of vapor. Uh, this is the 1.2 ohm coil, I should specify. So it's hitting around 14 watts, I think. Again, mouth to lunger, you don't really see much. Let's try a straight lung on this one. A little bit more, not too bad. Now let's try this one, which is actually at 6.8 watts, which is about half the wattage of the last one. And this is what I mean about controlling how much vapor you get, and it could be misleading. So higher wattage does not necessarily mean better vapor production. And let's test it out. Okay, let's do a straight lung hit now. Whew. 
quite a bit more. So does that mean it's better or worse? Well, we'll talk about that later on when I get to the conclu conclusion of this video on which one I actually think is a better device. Let's move on to the price tag of both of these and find out what they retail for. Now the Ego AO Eco, which going forward will just be called Eco for the sake of time. Anyways, Eco retails for between $15 to $20 range and that's from US to Canadian dollars. In US, you should be able to find it for around 15 and Canada should be able to find it around 20. Uh, with the Breeze, however, it retails for between $25 to $30. Again, $25 for that US price tag and about $30 Canadian. Now, I do expect that price to go down, especially with the upcoming release of the Breeze 2. I think that's gonna actually decrease the price on the Breeze 1. However, that's just speculation and just pure guess. Uh, but whether or not it actually takes effect, we'll find out eventually. Next up, I do wanna talk about the coils on both of these and the coil options. The Ego Eco uh, only has a 0.5 ohm coil. Now, when put on an actual ohm reader and testing the resistance, I tested at 0.6. Now, whether or not all of them are gonna test it at 0.6 or it's just me is yet to be determined. However, for the two coils I got, they both ended up ohming out at 0.6 ohms, which actually makes it a little bit more comparable to the 0.6 ohm coil of the Breeze except at a far lower wattage. Which brings me to the reasoning of why that breeze did not put out as much vapor as let's say the Eco. Admittedly, yes, with a 1.2 ohm coil, but at a higher wattage. And I think that's where things get a little bit tricky. The breeze does have two coils, the 1.2 ohm coil, which I am currently using, and the 0.6 ohm coil, which I am not using just yet because I've actually burned mine out before this video, but I think it comes down to airflow, and that's what I want to talk about kind of to summarize what really sets each of these apart. The Eco is a great mouth to lunger. It feels natural. It feels like a cigarette in a lot of ways. It has that tight draw. It's very easy to do that mouth to lung feeling. And it's very satisfying to see. And there's still enough vapor in there that actually feels satisfying for me who is someone who actually vapes at a much, much higher wattage usually. The breeze, on the other hand, is where things get a little bit strange. I don't know if I would call this a mouth to lunger. Yes, I know the video says the best mouth to lunger of 2018. However, the thing is, I don't feel it's really a true mouth to lunger. So does that mean it's a straight to lunger? Well, it's not quite that either. And again, this is where it gets really weird for me. The Breeze is so far in its own class that it almost, for me at least, feels a little bit unnatural and unsatisfying. If I want a straight lung hit, I can use literally any other device and it's going to feel a lot better. If I want to use a mouth to lung hit, it's too airy. So it's too airy for a mouth to lung hit, but there's not enough airflow for a straight lung hit, putting it in that perfect medium, which isn't so perfect for me. Whether or not it's perfect for you is yet to be determined and completely up to you and your preferences. Now, I will say that working at the vape store, I have sold a lot of breeze kits. And so far, I have yet to have anyone really complain about it and actually seems to enjoy it quite a bit. However, the more experienced vapers I've talked to who have used a breeze and have not purchased one, they have kind of agreed with me saying it doesn't feel like a mouth to lunger and it doesn't feel like a straight to lunger and just feels lost in that mix. The Eco, on the other hand, has actually been purchased by just about every single staff member at the vape shop because it really is the perfect mouth to lung style vape. So, which one ultimately do I think is the better mouth to lunger? The Eco. Which one do I think is the better device? Again, for me, it's gonna be the Eco. Between the price tag, the satisfying hit, the low wattage, the battery that lasts all day, versus the breeze which only lasts about six seven hours without that docking station i think i have to give it to the eco and i don't even think it's a competition at this point so now that we've determined the best mouth to lunger of 2018 according to robbie vapes i'm sure most of you are tuning into this looking at this review saying which one should i use with salt nicks? and to answer that we must first ask ourselves what are salt nicks? are they good or are they a detriment to the vaping community well, stay tuned next week when I tell you my thoughts. For now, that's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until that next video, happy vaping, YouTube.